When you take probiotics, right, you can increase gases in your gut, methane or hydrogen gases, if we already have bad bugs there, like dysbiotic bacteria, Citrobacter, Fusobacterium, Proteus, Morganella, Strep Staph, right? These are bad bugs in the gut. If we already have a lot there, sometimes throwing probiotics in there, it's kind of like chumming shark infested water. You can kind of create a little bit of a feeding frenzy. And that feeding frenzy could be extra methane or hydrogen. Also, you can get delactate production from these probiotics as well. And delactate can significantly affect motility. It can also cause brain fog issues. Um, definitely throw off your digestion, bloating gas, diarrhea, constipation. Again, with some people, probiotics can really move the needle from a, a diarrhea standpoint. Uh, it can be good if you have like an acute E. coli infection. It can, this data on that, actually helping to crowd some of those bugs out on the E. coli dysbiotic bacteria side. And so there are some benefits, but if you have chronic digestive issues or you find yourself sensitive to probiotics, you gotta, you know, gotta look in and say, okay, what's the mechanism here? Why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? What does it mean? And then what does this tell me about what my next step should be? How should I work on getting to the root cause? And typically you have to work on, it's like, you know, I got my lawn over there, right? I'm looking at it. If I had a whole bunch of weeds over there, I wouldn't pay my lawn guy to go throw a whole bunch of seeds down. We'd probably spend a little bit of time pulling all those weeds up, kind of really create space and then throw down some seeds as well as some fertilizer to really allow that extra space to be taken up. And any good lawn guy will tell you that, if the more you get good quality grass in your lawn, that grass actually crowds out the weeds and prevents a lot of weeds from growing. So one of the first things you gotta do is you gotta clean out the weeds, then you gotta come in there and specifically take up the space that those weeds would be taking. You take up so the space where the weeds would be taking, then the grass that's now in that spot can really, let's say, improve the immune system of that lawn and make it harder for the weeds to grow back. So I hope that helps on that sense. I want you guys to kind of look a little bit deeper on that. What time of day should I take my vitamin D3? That's one question here. So I think it's better probably to take it in the morning time just because if you think about vitamin D, how is it made? It's made with the sun, right? You're going to get the sun at 10 o'clock at night? Probably not. So I would say I try to keep things kind of in line as natural as possible, more than likely better in the morning. Now that being said, if you forgot to take your vitamin D, and it's nighttime and you're sitting there pulling out your supplements, should you take it? Sure, as long as it wouldn't affect your sleep and wouldn't overly energize you, which most of the time it shouldn't. You know, every now and then you find someone that's like, yeah, vitamin D gives me good energy. That's the case, do it in the morning and skip it. But if it is not gonna energize you and throw off your sleep, I have no problem with you taking it at night. But I think morning's probably a really good idea to do it just because that's how our body would naturally do it. Great question on that front. I'm gonna keep on pulling in some more questions here. I'm reading Super Gut and how l rotary is very beneficial. Um, Super Gut book has a SIBO probiotic protocol where you make your own yogurt with massive amounts of bacteria. Have you seen this? I've not heard of that, but yeah, I definitely use l rotary um, l rotary is used in a lot of baby probiotics for like infants and stuff. I think it's also used in a lot of vaginal probiotics. So when we're trying to deal with like chronic UTI issues, uh, bacterial vaginosis, yeast infections, that's one of those good probiotics that show a lot of benefit with, um, with helping improve vaginal health.